It's no secret that I'm a huge fan of Jackie Chan, and I critique a lot of fight scenes on this channel, so in the name of fairness, I am going to critique Jackie Chan versus Jet Li in Forbidden Kingdom. But first, I have to get my fan theory out of the way. This kid in Forbidden Kingdom looks remarkably like the kid in Sidekicks, that old Chuck Norris movie that really sucked. They even have the same bully, and when they confront the bully, they defeat him in the exact same way. So now you know the truth. All of Forbidden Kingdom is just another fantasy from that kid in Sidekicks. There you go, mind blown, myth confirmed, let's move on. Here we go, first move of the fight, and first thing that's stupid. Here Jackie throws his thing with his left hand, and now it's his right hand. And what the hell, they couldn't just use a breakaway prop, they had to put it on wires? Look at this thing rise up really weird. Why the hell is it on wires? Now they do this thing, which would be cool, except that it uses wires, and I know they can do it without wires. Also, I love that they left it in. That Jet Li accidentally gets the pole stuck way up his shirt. Now, I know somebody's gonna leave a comment saying that there weren't any wires, and I'm completely wrong, so here's some behind-the-scene footage showing that he's using wires. It's not all bad, though. The way they use this dirt for effect is amazing. I love the effect that Chalk gives, but so often it's not even a part of the set, so it doesn't make sense. By the way, if you want to see an amazing use of dirt with lighting effects, check out Dragon Tiger Gate starring Donnie Yen. Wait, why did Jackie do the same move twice in a row? Look, he grabs it, he spins underneath it, and then they're like, what should we do next? How about you spin underneath it again, but this time with wires? <sighs> Admittedly, I'm angsty about this because I know he can do better. He did this amazing sequence in First Strike. And it's not like you have to be young and athletic to do this. Jackie's a lot older now, but still, this is entirely about creativity. This part isn't about athleticism. I love the throwback to classic kung fu movies with this little leg section, but why the hell is the sound missing for some of the kicks? Listen to when their shins hit each other. That's painful to film. What the hell, the sound guy was just like, eh, two out of three of them have sound. The audience will get the gist of it. Also, this is kind of a theme with this fight scene. Stuff that Jackie's done before that's kind of watered down. Check out this clip from Who Am I in 1998. It's one of the most badass scenes Jackie's ever done. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Ah, but we get this. At least part of it has sound. No, no, why? Why is the staff CGI? Look at it, it's you can't tell me that's not CGI. Jackie Chan versus Jet Li in the case of the computer generated stick. And look at these wires. Why? It's it's like they're in the Matrix. But instead of the Matrix being run on a supercomputer, it's being run on a Commodore 64. I suppose it doesn't help that the choreographer from The Matrix is the action choreographer, the action director, and the executive producer of Forbidden Kingdom. <laughs> Maybe the wires are symbolism and I just don't get it. It's supposed to symbolize her descent into madness. Oh. Here's where we see Jackie's character become completely drunk off of one mouthful of wine. Oh, now he's drunk, so we gotta get watered down, drunken master. Oh, that was so cool. I love this part of the fight scene. Jackie's never fought with some sort of satchel that's around his neck, and it's so creative. This is one part of the fight scene where it's something original and amazing. I love it. And then they had to make sure to put wires on it, because symbolism? And this is where it gets weird. For no fucking reason, the music switches over to the Matrix soundtrack. It's a good part of the fight scene, but all I can think of is the crappy Commodore 64 Matrix. Oh, why, why? I don't... Why do you need wires for that? You don't. You don't. Well, props to Jet Li for not using wires on that ball. Hey. Why? Oh my god, sidekick skid. He's here with Chuck Norris. They can critique it with me. What? Why is he using wires to do a push-up? Didn't they make fun of this in Kung Pao? 
<laughs> if another movie does it as a joke, don't do it seriously. This is where Jackie channels his production company powers of Metro Goldwyn Mayer. I'm not adding these sound effects in. Why did you need wires to go up the three stairs? Didn't, you don't need wires for three steps. <laughs> what was with the whale sound? Why is there a whale of a sudden? <laughs> oh my god. I think the sound guy just went to the zoo one day. <laughs> he wanted to bill it to the company, so he had to put all the animal sounds into this fight scene somehow. Again, I love the dirt. It looks so good. If only I could focus on it instead of the wires, but I, I can't. They're not, you're not in the Matrix. This is a different movie. Oh, thank God it's over. It's over. Now we'll conclude the scene with two lines that could have been said at the very beginning and avoided the whole conflict. You try to steal this staff for the warlord. No, fool! <gasps> he can talk. He can talk, 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 he can talk. Best Chuck Norris fight scene.